Angie. Angie, what's your name? Beautiful. And you saw the show. What do you think about the show, girl? Awesome. 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 Oh, classics in the building. My fault. <laughs> Yeah, no, seriously, I'm I was loving it. Like it's so close to the West Coast, I still feel like I'm home. You know what I'm talking about? That's what's up. So we out here chopping up, talking about hip hop. The first question I got for you is, when did you first fall in love with hip hop? The first time I fell in hip in love with hip hop, it's like a two tier story, man. It, it first started. I don't want to date myself, but he asked me a real question. I got to, I got to keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it 100. Uh, the first time my parents was immigrants, my dad played me a song like way back in. The, what? Da, 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 da. And he, you know, he, to and he was like, man, this is new music. It's people saying poems on the disco. That's how my dad described it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It was like then when it came out, he's like, mm. he's like, I think you would like this, son. And I was already a musical kid, you know, and all that shit. So that was around like, probably like five or six and shit. And then around like, uh, when I was six, no, nah, I was more like eight years old, and then Millie Mel came out with the message. And by that time, by that time I had been listening to hip hop like just that new shit. You know, I was a little ass kid. When I heard that, when I heard the message, I was like, that's what I want to do for them. That's what's up. I, I heard that song. I played it over and over. Me and Tajay would sit by the speaker, and we was little ass motherfucking kids. We would play that shit, sit by the speaker, and people around us be like, y'all crazy, because hip hop wasn't popular. Kind of like a, you're like a weird old feature fucked with. Wow. You know, but but I mean, we was hooked. I didn't care what nobody thought. I was like, when I heard the message, I was like, that's what I want to do. You know, what I'm I was a straight A student, got a genius IQ, like all kind of like scholarships and all that shit. I turned all that shit down for the love of hip hop. I, when I decided that's what I'm going to do, in 82 to answer your question. 82. That's, that's when I decided. 82. When I decided. Next wow. Next to date myself, wow. I still look good. Wow. Still look good. Like you said, not selling much. Next question is, what does hip hop mean to you? It changes all the time. Some people's love, some people's expression. When you think about it, what does it mean to you? Hip hop, what, what hip hop means to me is, is it's how I can God, I was trying to prevent from taking off. Fucking took off. The first day, with the moment I wake up, I got a hip hop song in my head. <laughs> I hop in the shower. First thing I got to do before I even start talking to human beings, I got hip hop songs Jay. in my fucking like, get your ass over here, motherfucker. When I get out of there, like, man, come on. My, my son takes me home. He know how to make beats on reason. Hip hop huh? beats. Sure. Playing guitar. Like, hip hop is everything to me. Hip hop saved my life. I would either be dead or, with, or in jail yeah. for murder or. or Something. Or something so fucked like, up. Yeah. Like I literally, that's what hip hop means to me. It's like my motherfucking like on earth ain't. I believe in shit and all that shit, and I don't really like, you know, try to like say what people should believe in or whatever. But me personally, it's I believe in the higher power and, and things that guide a motherfucker. But hip hop represents the physical aspect of that on earth. I seen that shit say, "Love me and I will love you back." That's love. And I did that. That's love. You know? Thanks again, Paul Hill, BSP. What is hip hop to him? What does it mean to you? Much love. What does hip hop mean to you? Man, hip hop is life, man. It's an expression. It's an emotion. It's a culture. But beyond that, it's just uh, embodiment. Of, embodiment. Uh, my experiences as a post millennial uh, Negroid human being. <laughs> Negroid human being. That's what's up. When did you uh, first fall in love with hip hop? What turned you on to it? Man, probably yeah. 79, 80, or something like that. Just hearing. Uh, probably. Uh, uh, Somewhere between uh, Rapper's Delight and Planet Rock, man. I was like, oh, this is it. That's when hip-hop was hip-hop. That sounded like the future. What do you got? One more question. I didn't even tell you this. How do you feel about the state of hip-hop now? That's the new question. Hip-hop is cracking, man. We, we, you know, we tour probably 120 to 200 days a year. Packed houses, young kids, grown folks. You know, our fan base probably spans 20, 25 years, maybe 30 years. We've been doing it for 20. So hip-hop is cracking, man. Uh, I think as far as... Part of the culture has gone mainstream, but there's always been whack shit. There's always been dope shit. There's always gonna be a mainstream and underground. Just do what you do, man. Because I tell you like this: the hip hop that's on the radio today, 
is a lot better than the hip hop was on radio before because there wasn't no hip hop on radio. Real rap, that's how I'm saying that. Even though a lot of niggas is garbage. Yeah, even though you don't like it, at least it's there. Yeah, yeah, at least it's there. But as far as the state of, of hip hop and culture, man, I just hope the fool is getting the graffiti, getting the break in, getting the DJing because it ain't just about rapping. I think that people sort of gravitate towards the rappers and look at the rappers because we're on TV or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's really about the entire culture. That's love, that's what it is. That's hip hop. I got that sub love, I make you feel 